Hey, I hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I want to take just a, a moment and just encourage all of us on what to do between Thanksgiving and Christmas. And to make sure we have a wonderful Christmas. And I hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving again. And I hope everybody's planning on having a wonderful Christmas. And so the challenge is this. Continue to be thankful. Oh, we've already talked about it a lot. Be thankful. Thankful for family. Thankful for faith. Thankful for freedom. Thankful for just many, many blessings. Small, big, all the blessings. But between now and Christmas, we challenge us to be, I know it's not a real word, but watch this. Thankful. Change one letter. Thankful to thankful. Thankful, thankful. God gave us something so powerful. The Bible says we have a mind. The mind. It's not just a brain there. It's a mind. And so we have the opportunity and the blessing to think about things. And I would challenge all of us, as Philippians 4 verse 8 says, to think on these things. We have so many things to think about. Think about Christmas. Think about Mary and Joseph and the birth of Jesus Christ. Think about Jesus and the reason he came to this earth. Think about others. Think about family. Think about your church members, your church family. Think about your neighbors. Just think of others. Think of blessings. Be thankful, and we will automatically be thankful. All right? So I want to challenge all of us to do that. I want to take a moment also to encourage you, if you've not uh, joined Art of ASL, it's growing so fast. We're so thankful uh, to honor my dad and be a blessing to my mom and also teach ASL in a fun, uh, happy, positive atmosphere. Also have a private Facebook group you can join. So think about that, all right? So Philippians 4.8, let's be continually thankful. And how do we do that? By being thankful, thankful. Hey, God bless y'all. Make it a great day. Love y'all.